Well, so as you guys can see, it's been a uh, great weekend. We need all the rain we can get here. And uh, starting to get a uh, small lake forming in the parts of the backyard here. Side point, I took, uh, I took the Craftsman lawn tractor around, kind of see some of the uh, areas like right there where I went and cut through some of the grass. That whole area right there has been gone through and cut. My dad wanted uh, around his antenna right there cut and cleared of uh, grass and stuff. And then I got that area over there quite a bit, all the way back up through there. And uh, I actually went around the uh, perimeter of the property with the mower a couple times. I really just wanted to see how well the thing would actually handle all that grass. But anyways, back to the point of this video. I guess I can show you guys this first because I just picked this up. I picked this up and I picked that up from the same guy. This is a Powercraft, never heard of the brand, uh, lawn tractor. The deck is right here. Both the belts are still in good shape. I uh, actually had to take it off, unfortunately, um, just because I uh, wasn't able to load the mower on it with the uh, deck still attached. It's too wide, it, wouldn't, it didn't fit. So uh, anyways, this is it. The gas tank sits right in here. I've got the gas tank sitting over there on top of the toolbox. And uh, the motor is not seized or anything. In fact, I actually had it running earlier. The guy told me that all he thinks that this thing needs is a new starter and definitely two new rear tires. But as far as the starter is concerned, I don't think there's actually an issue with the starter. I think it was more of just a battery issue. And uh, when I got there and picked this thing up, he had the key in the on position like that. So he said that he was having issues starting it and that was probably why. Because this is a newer battery. 215 it's almost a year old shouldn't really have any issues with it but nonetheless it does have that starting issue this thing's going to be fun i don't really know what the end game is for it i thought about you know actually making it into a racer i have no idea uh, certainly i could always sell it on to somebody else after i get it running good and everything because it's easy worth, easily worth about three to four hundred dollars around here. I don't know how much I would get for it in the end, but I know these motors are not cheap. I have seen them on Craigslist a few times, and people normally want at least a few hundred dollars for them. But other than that, obviously it's because the gas tank is not connected, I'm not able to run it with a proper fuel supply. But I was able to start it and get it to run off of uh, some starting fluid. In fact, we'll see how the battery is right now. Let's see if it'll turn on its own. Yeah, battery's a, battery's a bit pooch, so I'll have to grab the start cart and uh, wheel that over here and hook it up. So I got the battery charger hooked up. And uh, go ahead and spray some starting fluid into the carb here. I actually got a, this can's almost empty, so I got to kind of do it from an angle, almost. Probably a little more than it needs, but oh well. I'll give it a full choke. About three quarter throttle. There's the key. As you guys can hear, she runs damn good. No noise, no nothing. He thought that there was something wrong with the starter. I don't know exactly why. Uh, the best I can see is that he was just having a battery issue. Because when, I, uh, when we first brought the mower back here and unloaded it, me and my buddy who gave me a hand with this thing, um, the Bendix was still engaged. So it wasn't really wanting to turn. I mean, it still turned, but it wasn't wasn't as easy as you know putting both hands on the top of the uh, fan here or flywheel I should say and just turning it so I don't really know what kind of issues he was having because the best I can tell right now it seems to run okay at least you know as far as starting fluid and you know a jump start is concerned so I'll be uh, really happy to uh, start messing with this thing here pretty soon it's about time I got another tractor and uh, I know these uh, these 18 and a half horse uh, twins are actually pretty decent motors. 
There's the model and date code. You guys care enough to see that. So that's about all there is with this. Uh, he did have an oil uh, pan sitting underneath it. I don't really know why. I don't see any obvious leaks right now. But his story about this thing, he bought it uh, from some lady in a neighboring uh, town. And he claimed that he spent about $180 on it. And he got it back to his house and it didn't, it didn't work correctly or something like that. Said he had had it in his possession for about a month. The bad thing about these tractors is uh, they're not nearly as easy to sell as stuff like that. Uh, simply because people more often than not want you to uh, deliver it for them, which I can do, but having to put the deck on to show them that the deck works is uh, kind of a pain in the ass. So that's that. Give you guys a better walk around of it. But this thing will definitely be a little fun to mess with. I'll have an update video on this thing shortly. This is that mower that I just picked up, that Craftsman. And uh, I got it running good. I actually had a side chute, but I've got a bag in the hoard that I'm gonna throw on it before I sell it. I'll keep the side chute. So as you guys can see here, I have the uh, chute for this thing. It's a Patriot Forester Chipper Shredder Vac. I don't know how how it's a vacuum, but you know, anyways. So it's actually in pretty decent condition. It does need a little bit of work uh, right here. It's actually kind of messed up. Now the guy told me about this thing. The motor on it runs good, so he claims. It's definitely got compression. It's a uh, older Tecumseh. I don't know what year exactly, but here is the model number for it and the serial. I have not troubleshot this thing at all yet. And the reason why I'm doing that again is because he told me when he was using this one day, he had loaded a uh, branch into it. And I don't know exactly, I mean, might be that bolt that came off there, but he said that this thing just started screaming and screaming and screaming from somewhere in here and uh, it started making all this noise. He said it sounded like it was going to blow up in his own words. So he actually turned it off with a stick from a significant distance away and uh, he just you know stopped the motor like that. So this thing will be a little fun to mess around with and see what's going on with this. I've never picked up a uh, tripper before. But these things are easily worth two to three hundred dollars, definitely, if I can get it working. And uh, hopefully I can get some sort of maintenance or service manual for this thing. But it doesn't look all that hard to uh, take apart. Just all these perimeter bolts that should take that cover off and, and we can see just, you know, what exactly is going on in there. It might be that a piece of hardware worked its, worked its way loose or something and you know, just started making all kinds of racket as it was bouncing off the blades. But I honestly have no idea yet. And then to finish off this video in the back of the uh, Danger Ranger, I went and did some uh, trash picking today. Had some really good luck. As you guys can see, found two lawnmowers, a fan, and a uh, Black & Decker electric uh, weed trimmer, which he claims still works. I have not verified that yet battery's definitely dead but he claimed that this still works he just got rid of it because he got a new one so you know I don't really know what I'll do with that but I just took it to humor him I normally haven't had very good luck with these electric lawn tools usually they are broken the fan on the other hand I normally pick these up kind of just by proxy it gets so hot during the uh, springtime and summertime here in the early fall that I've always just gotten into a habit of picking these up. I have no idea if it works. I've got power connected. And nothing, not a damn thing. That's typical, oh well. That'll go in the trash bin.
And I'm sure you guys want to uh, see the two mowers that I picked up. I actually came here to uh, both do this video and then get a couple parts. Uh, this one right here is a uh, older Bollins. I've actually got the exact same mower at the house. fucking do lawnmowers. Like I said, boys, Sundays are the best picking days to do this stuff. I'm using my phone right now as my camera. It's probably going to fall off, but there's no water down below. So I haven't checked the compression. So that one has a little compression. Let's see how much oil is in it. Got a oil in her. Looks fairly new. There's the model number on that. So, should be able to get that one going. If not, I do have another motor exactly like that in the hoard. Also found this little gas can in here. I don't know if it's uh, messed up or not. And uh, obviously both these lawnmowers have the bags with them. This one. Oh, she's seized. Definitely seized. So I'll have to uh, look at that some more. What I'll actually do with this one is uh, flip it over when I get it back to the house and see if I can rotate the blade. See if there's any oil in it. Wow. There's a mixture of old and new oil on this thing. So I don't know if he tried to service this and put too much oil in. I have no idea. Not really too much of a fan of these Tecumseys. Uh, I've really kind of lost a lot of the interest in uh, fixing these up. But I do give them at least one chance to see if they uh, decide to start up or not. I'll end up giving you guys an update on both of them. Probably get to this one first because it might be the most easiest to deal with. I gotta go get a primer bulb out of my uh, parts hoard. And that is one of the primer bulbs without the pull. That's what we need. I've, uh, I went to Harbor Freight a while back and picked up one of these. It's great to have one of these. Got all sorts of carburetors and small parts and spark plugs, all sorts of stuff, diaphragms, which I probably should bring this with me as well because I bet that lawnmower needs a new diaphragm in it. But uh, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this uh, quick video. I uh, also got these things as well off of uh, Amazon um, because I was planning on putting this as part of a vlog, but I guess this is considered a vlog because I have parts for this Honda on the way. Uh, new crank, new connecting rod, new piston, new rings, couple new seals, and uh, hopefully I can rebuild this thing. I actually ordered off of eBay another uh, on-off switch control for it for about 10 bucks. So I should be able to, if I can rebuild that thing, if it's rebuildable, Hopefully get the uh, that pressure washer I've got in the hoard working again. It's just sitting out there without a motor on it. But uh, anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love garbage. I love garbage picking. It is so much fun doing this. Uh, <laughs> and it's, uh, it's a great thing, too, because I can turn around and make some money off of a lot of this stuff. But uh, anyways, boys, you all stay classy. Rate, comment, subscribe, and uh, peace out.